there friends and welcome back to my channel stag here today is a little bit of a surprise as i delve into some of the creation process of my sticker sheets and packs and do some packaging it's been absolutely insane since 2020 um i'm sure most people can relate to that and part of the reason why I don't have many videos out now is like I'm changing everything. Things are really busy behind behind the scenes, everything in the studio. Um, and things are drastically changing kind of by the week now as I've been growing the business quite a bit. So... This, a lot of this footage was taken several weeks ago now. I'm just finally getting around to editing it. And I'm actually looking into training an editor, someone that can help me with YouTube videos very shortly. Like, it's really, really easy for me to forget about editing videos. <laughs> They're kind of always on the back burner as I'm trying to get everything done because it's done. Not only do I have to make the things, I gotta make the art for the things, and then there's all the the, the back-end businessy things to do. Oh, it's just crazy. Um, <laughs> there's so much more to being an artist and running a business than it is just making pretty pictures. And I've expanded since the beginning of last year like i've really expanded everything that i'm doing product wise and it's been pretty hectic keeping up with everything anyway there seems to be quite a bit going on from week to week and so i thought it would be cool to start doing vlogs and uh we'll see where that goes because they're going to probably come out slow at first until I work out a whole new system of that and organization and uh, file sharing and onboarding the helper. It's been very, very hard for me to pass off tasks and have someone else do something for me because it's easier to just persevere and do it myself than to teach someone else to do it, but I'm actually starting to have uh, able to reap the benefit a little bit since I've offloaded some things and it's been a lot better, but then I use all that time and create all the more things. So much, so I, I never really have a, an excess of time because I'll just end up filling it with something else and being productive which I haven't been as productive as I used to be with painting like I used to do sometimes even a painting a day or in a week and it's just it's been months now and like at least four months since I worked on my last painting which that's going to be started up starting up again soon I'm going to be back at streaming I got a new camera so that should look a little, a little nicer. Now, some of this uh, footage, the sticker sheet that I originally made, I ended up changing um, to fit more things on it. And I don't typically, this is kind of a new thing where I started making the, photo, the sticker sheet in Photoshop, which I don't typically do that. I do it normally all in silhouette, but I wanted to do some more elements on it, like kind of around and add a bit of a background to it. But I realized with doing this, uh, the sticker sheets don't look as good when done because for whatever reason, I'd rather just take a larger file and silhouette and shrink it down direct in there. This is my Canon Pro 100. Um, so you can hear that sound. Do you hear it? It's not regular printer noises. 
as the corner of the paper catching inside the printer. And there'll be more probably in the next vlog about this. Oh my gosh. At the time of recording this footage, I had no idea what issues were going to arise with this paper. I get to test the new overhead camera here. However, that light thing is really stupid. I had to figure out eventually how to make it so it stopped turning on the light and like self-adjusting because it was a lot better without the light. So here are some of my newest sticker sheets. Newer, not necessarily newest anymore, but the Mystic Mushrooms. I really wanted to replace my older mushrooms and then I ended up doing this whole botanical thing I did on Enchanted Forest which I have been making more and more things with those on them particularly. I just released another batch of new products with them on and uh, Deadly bot Botanicals because I wanted to do like mandrakes and nightshade, hemlock, and all, all sorts of fun stuff. I released all three of these together because it just kind of went together in my head. And, 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 and. So I started making my own notepads. I have this thing with quality control and it really, really, really annoys me. I keep getting things in from companies and they're just not right. And I like to do them more in-house even though it puts more work on me but then I gotta learn to also train other people to do it and uh, whatever but we'll get down there that we'll get there down the road I'm still making all the notepads myself and everything but the cool thing with making them myself is I can alternate between pages I can do whatever the hell I want because I'm me <laughs> But the Bones notepad and the Poison bottle one were the first two I had made. But there are certain issues with them because I, because I was using my inkjet, I, I definitely needed to get something better. Um, yeah, it took forever and I would not suggest putting them on an inkjet. You're going to have better colors or images i guess um i have learned so much about paper so much about all the things in printing the last few months it's insane i'm still learning like eventually like i want to get a legitimate digital like printing press but at this point i cannot where i live because i have a small apartment and I don't currently have a living room because everything is art related in said living room. It has taken over <laughs> the biggest living space in the house and it is insane. And so when, when I get a, 
Like, I can't see myself renting, like, a studio and, like, going to work nine to five. Like, that's that's crazy. Like, I want to just walk out of my bedroom and go to work in my pajamas. Like, that that sounds like what I plan on doing for the rest of my life. That's fine. That's fine. But within the next few years, something's definitely going to have to change, and I need a lot more space. So, we'll see. And... You guys can see how I package orders. And again, since recording this, things like kind of switched up a little bit. But normally when I'm doing stuff, like I'm going in between because like the sticker cutter, like every day is normally running all day long. I just have that scraping e like right in the side of my head like all day. But every order is gift wrapped and every order comes with some freebies.
just finished laminating all these for sticker packs and the curl is mildly infuriating. I had an issue with the st sticker sheets curling up and I ended up uh, putting them in the thing that I used to make notepads <laughs> to try to flatten them out, which normally they flatten out. I only seem to have the issue when I'm using like a brand new cutting mat and then I once I pull it away it seems to have issues but like I don't know there's something wrong with this batch of paper like maybe the grain is going the wrong way because it all wants to curl but they're all laminated now and they're all kind of sticking together and I can cut these Girl, hope thankfully isn't that bad. They will uh, flatten out. It just sucks for the initial photos because they need to settle for a bit. The zombies. I normally do uh, about 40 sticker packs at a time because it's one of those things if they don't sell, it's not that big of a deal. And I don't have to worry about restocking right away. And these I'm gonna put in a glassine envelope. I've been using these. I was trying to get away from uh, the cello bags just to be a little more eco-friendly. And um, also, I was. It's definitely a multi 
beneficial thing because my hand's trying to peel the the tape off of the self-sealing cello bags. Ends up uh, irritating arthritis. And also, Mr. Kitty will try to eat them. And if you guys have dealt with them at all, like the static cling is insane and they just... If you're doing like a lot at once, you just end up with a ball of these static cling freaking peely tape things and it's mildly frustrating. And they tend to escape and get places below the uh, 12 stickers in these packs. I decided to keep the foods relatively small, a little more relative to the size of the girls. And by the time this video goes up, these should already be in the shop for adoption. My neighbor's just sitting out there with his car. Rumbling. These guys worked out really well because I, I prefer to keep my sticker packs in the smaller bags like this and the little ones. I do with my sticker sheets because they at least keep a slightly smaller profile in storage. I gotta design a label for these. I used to use uh, washi tape on the backs, but I think I might use some of the smaller stickers for my uh, the matching sticker sheet. And I gotta package all these. I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I uh, got some samples in the mail today that I've been looking forward to from Xerox. Um, I've been looking for a laser printer, something I can use for uh, covers for notebooks and pages for the notepads, which I've been using my... Uh, my inkjet right now, which the quality is great. My inkjet is a powerhouse, um, but it's so slow printing. It's not that economical, so I wanted to get something more along the lines of a more professional, like mass production type of printer. Um, and not really mass production, but like relative production where it can spit out pages quickly um and the cost to use wasn't as bad so i've been doing a little bit of research um i didn't know crap about the market and what was available and <laughs> definitely i was looking at the wrong types of printers um I need something with definite higher resolution because the one I just got just, just sucks. I just wanted it for black and white, but it just sucks. Um, I didn't notice the resolution was a thing on it, and that that's this. So I got these samples. Um, this one is for the Versalink C8000. Um, I don't like the shine that the that they have, but I imagine it would be amazing to apply uh, the things, the things with the stuff, the lamination too. 
because I, I do a lot of laminating and I would probably be laminating the notebooks. Um, right now I probably need to change my sticker paper for and get like a more glossy one for my, my sticker packs because it would take the lamination a lot better but uh I definitely have to try out some things but I have a shit ton of uh, the matte paper that I use so right now I'm I've also been thinking about I have a wide format printer so I should be using larger sheets with that too and take advantage of it because I know the silhouette can do a lot more and I can get the big mats for the big prints and I can do a lot more sheets per page but I, I haven't got there and now I have many 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 sheets of uh, what I've been using this I have no idea what the hell this is printed on <laughs> they don't say but the most uh, impressive ones were these critters um, this is the VersaLink C700 and like I, I can I can see the little dots if I'm looking for them really 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 close but it looks good like I'm I'm kind of sold I think this might end up being a printer I'm going for like I there was another another one for a C9000 which I kind of wish they did like maybe both of these between the two different printers um so I could see how they differ slightly from one another because uh, it's a little hard to tell because one's a landscape and one's definitely a little like I'm I'm floored because I feel like it's exactly what I want it to do and Like this year and last year too, but like last year I invested a lot in new products and stuff. Like this year I seem to be more focused on investing more into machinery and things in general. I like to do things in-house as much as possible. Like I uh, got, I got my notepads printed through a company and I'm just not I'm not thrilled by the quality um the color between the batches seems to be off um the cuts aren't as great and it's super frustrating because you order these things and like I'm, I'm a type I just let it go and just ignore it and I don't hound after companies because it's like I just don't want to deal with it you know, I, I, I'm quiet and I, I don't want to ask for things or be like, you did a bad job. You know, that you did a bad job. I'm just quietly escaping the shadows and just figure out a way to do it myself. Um, I really want to bring more things in-house. It sucks because I don't have time. So um, I did officially hire <laughs> my first employee. So... I can start, I'm hoping I can stick with the vlogs and keep going with that um, because I can start unloading more and more tasks, make it a little easier. I know my daughter definitely wants to work for me as well, so she was asking if she'd come work this summer. So we'll see about that. I know a family business, so the rules, ch standard child labor laws don't necessarily apply, but I gotta look into everything. Um, but Mr. Axe is now doing a lot of the cutting and stuff for me. He has been for quite a while. Little mediocre tasks, so I don't have to do them <laughs> so much anymore. 
uh, putting stickers on things sometimes, and I really, I really, really want help shipping. That that is my biggest thing because like I spend sometimes twelve hours at a go just packaging, and it is brain numbing. <laughs> tiring because I just feel so mentally and physically exhausted after it. Um, I normally I try to package somewhat daily to stay pretty caught up on it, but there's still ends up with two major packaging days, which normally on Sunday and normally I want to say Thursday. But it, but it is really exciting. I don't physically have the space for stuff, but I'm so excited to make uh, the bigger investments. Like this is actually <laughs> this printer is gonna cost more than my uh, my art print printer, the one I'm printing on for everything right now. Um, I am curious and looking for different print paper for that as well. I had to uh, move away from what I was using. I love the quality, it was great, but I had to essentially manually feed everything through and I can't stand for long periods of time and I couldn't walk back and forth and it was excruciating to get like all the prints done because sometimes I'd have to print like 10 or 20 at a go and I just, it would be like an whole day process. So I had to switch so it would at least automatically start feeding through again. Um, Like my printer should be able to handle it. I even got a second one just to kind of test because I was wondering if the, the feeder wheel, I don't, I don't know how these work, the, the mechanics on it that, that feed the paper through. Um, it's a problem with that that I think the coating on the paper is uh, dusting it somehow and it's not feeding the paper through and it just keeps saying out so I have to get up manually press a button normally try to reseat the paper in the tray um, sometimes that works and then other times I have to take alcohol to the actual feeder wheel and it's it, and sometimes it would print out like four or five prints in a row and it was amazing and I loved it but other times it would just one and done and then I have to get up do the thing again and it, the micromanaging it was way too much way too hard on me like I was feeling entirely wiped out those days um so I would still like to find a thicker paper to use that will feed through there. I really think I might try to find something with a texture. Um, I, years ago I used a kind of canvas texture. I don't, I don't like that. I want something more with like a watercolor rag. Um, but again, I got a ton of this paper I need to use up first so I'm not just wasting. And we'll see where it goes. But I am super excited to uh, just invest in the business and really grow it this year. Uh, I got a stack cutter, so now that I can make the notepads myself and I want to do notebooks, like over the years I've looked into pricing for notebooks and I'm just like, I can't justify it because it's like, what if I don't sell a hundred of these? You know, that's a lot of money to just like throw out there for like one design. But now I'm be like, I, I am the master of my realm, and I can do how many designs I want. If I only want to make two, or make a one-off, I can do that. Um, I already have some ideas in mind on exciting little notepad project I'm gonna start soon. It's themed that I'm, I'm pretty excited for. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. This has been 
interesting to say the least to do a little more of a blog style thing where I just do a little bit of everything. Well, bye. Also, you can catch me on Instagram. It's where I do most of my updates when I, I'm not obviously uploading here. Um, I have Facebook as well, and my website, and my Etsy shop, and my Patreon are in the links below. Have a wonderful day.